They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine.
Wonkers, my old Wattilla. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. Dad, Gabriel, stops by every day, keeps a... That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail, life-saving... I don't know if that's how I actually look out there or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. She's all alone. I know that feeling. Don't leave! You can't leave! What are you doing? Stop! I said stop! I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. For fuck's sake, people, go away! You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Why won't you help me? Ugh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. This isn't real. No one can see you. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. Save me! I said stop! I can't help you and this dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer... It's a child. Great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go away. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared. She's already... It is dangerous and it will hurt you, unless we destroy it. I want to go home. And you will. But the way back is through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? 
Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Oh, tentacles. Yeah, no, not touching that. Nope, 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 nope. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, and never again. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through... That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Terrified. Poor girl. Mm. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, and never again. Too dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty... Torch. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. 
They're getting worse. You have to go home. There's no home to go... What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I have nothing out there, and... I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just... abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. I'm not ready to wake up, to face... There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same out... There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. I don't understand why I'm needed. I, this is where I belong. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I don't... I've done my share. You've been here for a long time, Zoe. The dreaming disease has not abated. It has become worse. When you laid your sister to rest, Order was restored to the story time. Faith's presence, feeding on the dreams of millions, was wearing down the walls of reality. Without you, the world would be in chaos. You were brought here at the end because you are the dreamer and you belong to this place. But your world is caught up in a dream that never ends. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. But the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. Torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. And then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete. That sounds final. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. Me. My body. That's the only connection between story time and... and home. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow... This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers, 
I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... No light source there. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage. Well, fingers properly crossed. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pump. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. So, okay, the cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. Oh, it's too fast, too jarring, like, like a train of thought going at the speed of light. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at, being dead. She's right. Maybe you're right. That's it? You're even sadder than I thought. You can't even stand up for yourself. Well, bugger off back to your little bubble, bitch. You can hide there until our body withers to dust and then we can watch the universe burn. Which, by the look of things, won't be too long now. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I'm not letting her stand in my way. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I've made up. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger, and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. Maybe she's right. I'm going to find out for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. And... and who is that? I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly... I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. No. 
It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvane. When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I, I was told that Kian Alvani would... And I am telling you to carry out his sentence. What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I... How soon? Well, by first light, at the end. First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by... Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. For we will soon be free, together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. If you've come to see me beg for my life, Warden, you won't... Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. You're a rational pragmatist, Alvani, quite like myself. No, I am merely here to ensure that you are prepared for... As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm... I'm cu <clears throat> That's not why I'm here. No. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to... Me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> Death. Quite. Then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. What I do not understand is why you've, um... Simply... I have... Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made-to-order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last-minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, 
You need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. Hey! Hey! Help me! He looks badly hurt. He might know how to get out of here. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I've... I've lost... too much blood. T <coughs> Take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. There's no... Thank you. Your death will matter. Your sacrifice will help the Resistance. Please. <coughs> Please. Finish me before the cards find me. They won't be kind. They will make... <coughs> they will make me suffer. Kill me. Please. It appears to be a gate key. It Please probably kill unlocks me. this first gate. Kill me. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. This is an innocent man. If I don't kill... May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. It had to be done, Kian. You made the right choice. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Upwards. Ever upwards. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the Resistance certainly isn't, and we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. The riot is growing, moving closer. We need to keep moving up, find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. I think we got him right. It's undamaged and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. That ought to do the trick. Go on, pick the lock with the arrow. 
Good job. Follow me. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. Our old friend, Mr. Murren. Balse back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balse. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojar's unclean genitals, Warden! Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> prom- Doesn't the war- My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my- He may. If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my bitter in. Step back, Elvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Do you not count for anything anymore? You will receive your just punishment soon enough. <coughs> Perhaps so, Alvani. At least my punishment. At least my punishment will be at the This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't yeah. say I wanted Barbarian to leave this like place. Yourself. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you, soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know, and others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof. There's no way through but here. the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. There's no way through here. Damned. The They're guards are getting closer. These torches burn day and night. We don't know what is in this accursed place. I'm curious to see where this is going. That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. Clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. 
What's going on you out first? there? Huh. Wish I knew. The Azadi are entrenched. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. They only appear interested in holding the city. Right, right behind Sire you, boy. And Vermont are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Use the lever to pull it. Now arm yourself. There's a sword over here. Come over here now! By the Mojas bloated testing, stop fucking- How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. His eyes... How many more debts? His... Goddess... Forgive me. Slow and steady, boy. Blood and pain for the portal. into the shallows. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb the walls, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. Never did. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal. What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? Town! A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. And that bone-headed warden. He... I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. Oh, protect us. Do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've holed up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone. But I will find him. Him and his cohorts. And Before the first arrives. It won't reach your ears. You make sure of that. 
If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander. Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch over us. It's our three months anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? What do you think? You have more energy, you appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. I know. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. Do you agree with that, Zoe? And potentially, and potentially lose everything. And I don't. I'm worried that if I start remembering, I'll lose all of this. And you don't think it's worth the risk? I'm just really, really scared. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? Dropping out of uni, moving back in with Dad. I'd lost... lost faith in myself, in everyone around me. And then something did happen. Be careful what you wish for, right? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine. But that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. And do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch, or someone at Watticorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I- Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... At least he came clean, absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? I forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind, inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colourful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe... You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. You're worried something else happened to you? I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. It's becoming... a disease. And you were connected to a prototype. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? I haven't. Yet. I decided to continue with my degree, so I guess that means I'm not disassociating myself completely from Dad and everything he represents. But he... He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. That's perfectly fine. Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. 
If you do find a way to clean up the river, a lot of... I might actually be contributing something to society, for once. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman? Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No talk. I see. No, no, I, I really shouldn't. It's a trap. A psychological trap. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. Knock on wood. Hmm. I don't often get to do that with real wood. Ikea's plastique just doesn't cut it, knockwise. A permit. I have a permit. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. But your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. You have 24 hours to comply. Fuck off. You have 24 hours to comply. Well, that, that makes absolutely no sense. But if, if you do not comply, you will be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. That threats are counterproductive and punishable by law. You have twenty. How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. Twenty-four hours. Hey. Hey, where are you? Just leaving therapy on my way to the lab. What's up? Neck deep. Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella bites, sure. And lazy, not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend, lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pick. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. <laughs> See you soon. Down with the fascio oppressors! That's right, Assy. Keep walking. Fried cheese! Cheese soup! Burst! Did you see that? I can't believe the eye is harass- What was all that about? Fucking eye. Making up shit so that they can harass anyone who doesn't toe the line. Now I'm going to waste the whole afternoon standing in line at the district office for a permit I don't fucking need. <sighs> Never mind that this is just a tip of the garbage heap. They're restricting transit between sectors, adding more security to all the metro stations and ports, requiring paperwork for anything beyond local lines. I mean, what the fuck? I knew Parliament was tight with the Syndicate, but this is Chungo Man. They're planning something. Probably going to hunt down and the rest revolutionaries next. That's me, fuck then. 
I'm sure you. Word is they rounded up all the European liberty folks in the Berlin district last week, detained them on suspicion of terrorism, terrorism for speaking their minds, and okay for releasing clouds of bio graffiti. I know that clique. They're harmless. It was just a call to action. That's fucking terrorism now. Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta. If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport, the fucking Republic of Los Angeles, hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Lea Uminska is the best choice. No one's gonna put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance, and... She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. Anyway, what are you having? Having? Lunch, Zozo. For your turbo. Listen, I have a new supplier for Porkwurst, the collective down on Caprova, organic meat, the real deal, none of that vat-grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. The pork sausages sound totally... Let's live dangerously. The pork sausages sound perfect. Dobra, coming up. You should join the protest this afternoon. We're marching on the sector office. Can't, sorry. Ada would give me time off, but the project's at a really critical stage right now. Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Thanks, Nella. If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those cunts know we're watching the Watchmen. Best schmazak in Propast! Smazak! We've got steaming hot Xiaolong Bao, Sha Gao, Chong Yubing, best in Propast. What can I get you? I'm a rootin' tootin', six bow shootin', map totin' crow cowboy. Yeehaw! I'm just a guy with guitar Trying to make sense of it all Everything just seems so banal But there's no need to stay up and ponder Get out there before it's all gone I know it's not that easy Such a mind fuck. oh believe me I'm trying to hold on, I'm trying not to let go. I'm 
I'm trying to keep going, trying, trying. Why be outside? I still don't be really inside. Know Enjoy why. greetings, consumer. After you are looking absolutely radiant today. May I have a minute of your time to tell you about the new Watty Dream Machine? Ugh, annoying. If it shuts this thing up, I'll ask for the three-second pitch. I don't have time to listen to this ad bot right now. Sorry, I'm in a rush. Sweet dreams, consumer. If I don't know where I am, I look up and ask Orion. I'm trying. She gets a lot on me, Erda, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm voting manifesto this election. That's the, the hand that feeds is... logo. No, it's conveniently you? pointing the way What's to the, the entrance. Eh? Constantine Wolf. Smells good. You didn't have to bring me lunch, so eh? Good, because I didn't. This is for Reza. And yet you come see me first. This tells me something. You're enormous. You have your own gravity field. There's no escaping it. Talk to you after I've delivered this to my man? I'd be offended if you didn't. What's up? Toppling governments and exposing corporate conspiracies? Well, all in a daze. How was... you know... Therapy? Therapeutic, I guess. You guess. I know he means well, but I wish he'd leave the psychotherapy for later. I know... Can we please talk about it later? At home? So what are you working on now? A couple of things. A clampdown, mostly. There's tons of buzz about the Syndicate shutting down parts of the Metro, uh, escalating identity checks, raiding news feeds. We're expecting the worst. You're loving it. I wouldn't say that, but... It's exciting. We can make a difference. I pray they try to raid a hand. Sully's already preparing the lawsuits. We'll sue them for emotional trauma, unlawful intrusion, damages to property, Interference with the free press. We'll sue them for 300 million yuan. He's looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Bring it on. On your way to the lab? Ready to get rid of me already? I bring lunch. Sausage. Surprise? Possibly exotic? Sorry. I forgive you. You can stay as long as you don't talk to me. I need to finish this story. The clampdown? No. That new Bingo Dreamer soft drink. Apparently, they fast-track EFSA approval and skipped a few steps. Some customers have reported seeing the bingo dingo after drinking a can. We'll probably get it pulled from vending machines. That's my boyfriend, getting fizzy drinks yanked from store shelves. I'm a modern-day Gilgamesh, saving the world from hallucinogenic sugar water. Thanks for lunch. I appreciate it. I guess I'm making dinner. You guessed correctly, ZML. Oh, I won't be home until later. I'm volunteering. Any special requests? Nothing heavy. Have the membranes been repaired? I queried the building net, but no reply. Prepare for the worst. I can't believe we don't live in a climate-controlled apartment. As soon as I get a raise, we're moving. I don't want to leave Propast. No, I like the neighbourhood. But a more modern building would be nice. No more sunny living at Sonnenschein Plaza by original consumer goods. Anyway, lunch. Here, I have to run. Have fun at the lab. 
Say hi to, uh, to Wallflower. Ada. Ada, come on. She's the best. She's fun. Once you get to know her. Fun? She's so smart and a really nice person. Right. A nice person. Yeah, that's right. Nice. And I'm going to invite her over soon. And you will be nice, and it will be nice, and we will have fun. <laughs> 